Hello everyone, this is Bill McGurgan from C-Tech, and today we're going to talk about our Grounding and Bonding program. It's a hands-on, exciting program with employer-identified skills. It's the same as our other programs in mode and method of delivery. The focus of the course is on broadband service installation, grounding and bonding, and of course in-demand advanced skill training. It's a certified program with both BICSI and CEDIA CECs, as you can see on the certification. The teacher's guide is going to have the descriptions, module timing, objectives, skill sets, activity overview, and of course answers to prompts, and the assessment, module test, and final exams. Program design allows for variable, variable timing and working with the NEC, activities, module test, assessment, and a certification exam. In addition to the hard copy of the NEC, it's also available on the electronic media that's provided, as well as demonstration videos, activity PDFs, module tests, final exams. Hardware in the program includes the grounding and bonding trainer, student workstations, tools, consumables, and manuals. The program also has multiple items uh, for the uh, students, including the workstations, tools, and meters, and manuals. The consumables in the course include the, uh, the wires, the, uh, lugs, crimp rings, connectors, electrical tape, cleaning wipes, and uh, safety glasses. The certification voucher is included in your initial purchase, and reordering is uh, in groups of 10 student vouchers. Module 1 is the introduction to the program, including an overview of the course and tools and hardware. The 15-hour course is broken down into six modules as shown. Just like all of our programs, new terms are introduced and are on the bottom of the page as well as clipboards for demonstrations. References to the NEC as well as references to CTEC certified programs are also in the grounding and bonding manuals. The grounding interconnect trainer indicates the grounding substructure on both the interior and exterior of the building the left side being the exterior, the right side being the interior, as well as service connectivity through the NID on the left-hand side. The student workstations also have an NID, network interface device, on the left-hand side and the grounding infrastructure that students connect. Several different types of tools and testers are used in the program and we will go over each one in kind. The voltometer is used for resistance and continuity testing. It has an on-off switch and requires a 9-volt battery. Wrenches and can wrenches are also provided for entry into the NID as well as securing lugs on the bus bar. A cutter is also provided. A four-way screwdriver and electrician scissors. The rotary stripper makes circular cuts as well as cuts down the length of a cable. There's a movie on the rotary stripper on both your electronic media and the, the instructor portal. A crimper is provided to put a lug on a number 10 cable. Note the orientation of the notch and the tooth. The large crimper is used to put the lugs onto the number 6 cable. A wedge clamp is also provided to secure the cable. Networking tools include the punch down tool with the 110 head, and the rotary stripper to strip off the cable jacket off the data cable. The stripper should be set on four or five. Cables included in the program would be the armored six pair service cable, four pair UTP cable, number six and number 10 grounding wire. Also included are the grounding connectors, lugs, terminal rings. The NEC is a large portion of the course and a telecommunications technician's responsibilities. Module 2 is focused on the NEC as far as where it applies, layout, terminology. Module 2 also goes into the layout, table of contents, chapters, and sections of the NEC with a focus on Section 8, Communication Systems.
Of particular note are exceptions, fine print rules, and changes to the NEC from the previous version. The focus of the course is on Articles 800 and 820, which would include DSL and coaxial cable to the NID. Module 3 covers grounding and bonding and grounding and bonding infrastructure. Notice the connection on the left side of the trainer where the ground goes through the NED to the inner system bond to the ground rod. Of course, tied to your power meter for ground as well. The right side of the board indicates the interior of a building where from the secondary protection to the bus bar, its ground is fed back through the circuit breaker panel to the outside of the building and the grounding rod. NEC terminology and system layout is a huge portion of the course. Conductors, conductor sizes, and American wire gauge are covered as part of the program, as well as types of mechanical bonding. NEC required grounding rods and bus bars are also covered. Module 3 has the students grounding their workstation on both the right-hand side and the left-hand side. The first half of the activity is using the number 6 cable with the lugs to ground to the bus bar and the secondary protection. The second part of the activity is using the number 10 wire and grounding the NID to the inner system bond. Commercial grounding infrastructure is covered as well as NEC terms. Roles of both the technician and the electrician are stressed as well as safety consideration and ground testing. Module 4 covers lightning and surge protection strategies. Lightning effects from destructive to dissipative. Dissipative is indicative of a well-grounded and bonded system. Types of surge protection and its location. And surge protection devices used in the course. Shown are common types of surge protection devices from carbon blocks to power strips to hybrid gas electronic surge protectors. Module 5 puts it all together when we ground an armored six pair cable and connect services through the primary and secondary protection units. Parts of the NID are covered. and connectorizing the IDC line module. Note the blue and the, the orange pair, pair one and pair two, simulating DSL and tool home. Examples of cable, both six pair and 25 pair, armored cable. Part one of the activity is grounding the armored cable to the NID.
There are movies for all of the activities in the Grounding and Bonding program that are available on your electronic format or the instructor portal. Out of the IDC line block is four pair cable and that would be punched down on the secondary protection unit as shown. The completed student workstation shows both the connectivity of the telecommunication systems as well as the grounding infrastructure. Module 6 goes into telecommunication spaces and typologies and layout for a commercial system as well as terminology and NEC applications. The trainer can also interface with the telephone and VOIP program where the instructor unit replicates the central office to the student unit. Or the unit can interface with the ITB and the copper workstations replicating a telecommunications signal distribution path. And that concludes the overview of the grounding and bonding program. The certification process starts with the voucher. Uh, each student has a voucher that should be sent to SeaTac during the first week of training. Activity 3.1 should be indicated as a pass or fail, as well as Activity 5.2, pass or fail. There is a 25 question final exam. Instructors will grade that to 100 points total and you will scan that for upload to the website. Certification procedures. Certification starts by logging on to ctechprograms.com and going to the instructor portal, putting in your name, your e username and password. If you've forgotten that, Call us at CTEC and we'll take care of you. Once on the instructor portal, you have an area to ask questions, as well as certified training program area. We'll have all the programs, movies, and supports that you're going to need for the program. And then under certification resources would be grounding and bonding on the bottom. The form is straightforward. Your name, school, address, your number of uh, certification number, which will be the first two numbers on your certificate, number of students for certification, start, start date, and stop date. area besides the notes area where you can drag your uh, zip file for the uh, scanned student uh, tests. Once again we have to get those tests in there. student name, email address, birthday, and the scores for pass-fail for 3.1, 5.2, and the score for the final exam are inputted. A student could have taken another CTEC program, and chances are in the grounding and bonding situation they have. So in this case, you would click yes, and then the pass-fail, and the score for the final exam. To add another student, hit the plus button. When all the correct information is inputted, 
simply hit submit. Thank you for taking the time to go over our grounding and bonding program today.